Good afternoon and welcome back. This is Avery, the old stone circle. I'm on my way to do my second Green Lane video. Uh, this time I'm going up the Ridgeway. I'm picking it up where it starts at East Kennet on the A4 by a place called the Sanctuary and then it heads north and I'm going as far as Barbary Castle which is about four and a half miles. And these stones here, this is called West Kennet Avenue and that led down to the sanctuary as well. Okay, this is the start just along here. So the start of the Ridgeway. There's the sanctuary down there. So I'm going as far as... Well, I'm going up to Henpeck Hill and then just on from that is Barbary Castle. And you can see it's 87 miles long in total, ending at Ivanhoe Beacon, which is just north west of London. So here we go. This is actually the second time that I've done this. I did it last week. And forgot to turn the camera on, as you do. Uh, it's incredibly rutted, this uh, first bit. And the bike actually threw me off further up here. So I I came off twice, well, sort of semi, one and a half times. First time, I realised, uh, I thought the, it had pulled the microphone cable out, so I reconnected the camera so that I was actually filming the second time when I came off. But I didn't have any sound. I'll, I'll probably cut that into this video if I can re remember where it happened. There, there was absolutely no notice. I, was, I wasn't going fast. Um, like you get stuck in these ridges, these ruts, and it's a devil of a job to get out of them. And my instinct is to sort of grip the handlebars but I know that's the wrong thing to do that's a I've got an in, you know I just feel that the right thing to do is to really be loose and relaxed but I find it quite difficult to overcome the kind of like the inbuilt thing of gripping on but I'm going to try and be a little bit more relaxed this time It's a gorgeous day for it. It's around about the same time of day that I did it last week. Another thing I found is it, it want to put your. I want to put my feet down. And I know that's the wrong thing to do as well. I'm just going to try and be a little bit more relaxed. Also found the whole thing an awful lot more tiring than I thought it was going to be. going a bit slower than I 
I was last time. Oh boy, it's an absolutely fantastic countryside. I tried to get up these and all that happens is the back wheel slides. It probably looked quite pathetic to an experienced uh, trail rider. Mind you, I guess they got to have to have started somewhere. None of us are born knowing, are we? Well, this is the reason I got this bike was to actually do this the Ridgeway it's not quite what I suppose I had in mind I don't know really what I've, I found that when you think about doing something like your imagination is always actually better than the reality like Well, that was close nearly. Wrong thing to do is put your foot down. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely. I doubt if you can see much with this lens because it's too wide. But it really is a lovely day. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Are you getting these ruts and kind of make you want to go where you don't want to go and then I, I try to fight it and end up in trouble so I've really got to relax into it and I, I just can't seem to get the hang of that right now mind you this is only like the third 
green light, third time I've been green laning, and this is by you know the first one I did, which was Blackberry Lane, wasn't at all rutted like this thing. I think somewhere along here is where I came off. <laughs> Nearly had me, you bastard. Yeah, it's up here. Yeah, I've got those stones in the last one. So just up here on the left. There's some stones sticking out of the ground at odd angles. It could have been one of those that I hit. I didn't see it. I can't really show you on the camera. <laughs> so far, so good gets a bit better further up here
Okay. Obviously destined to come off each time. What's that busty wing mirror? Good. Uh, bent peg, good. Oh well. Well I've got a spare one of those. Okay, so that's the third time I've come off here. I don't quite know what to do with that. Okay, well, I don't mind leaving the engine off for a bit. Let the fuel on the oil settle back down to the bottom. <laughs> Had an end cap there somewhere. I'm going to carry on recording. Okay, well I guess that's gone. Yeah, we're still recording. So, I don't know. Microphone seems to be still connected. So, toolkit. I'll be able to show you what I've got in my tool roll now. I've got everything. Right, that'll do. <laughs> or not. There we go. Good egg. I did feel a bit sort of silly bringing all this lot. But I mean, I've got a spanner for everything that... <laughs> is on here and there's no way I could have done that better uh, couldn't have got that peg bent the other way unless I found a fairly hefty branch so that's good there's the two screws there that I told you about in the last uh, last one I don't know that you should be doing this at 61, but never mind. Hey ho, what else are you gonna do? There you go, that's good. Now, will it start? That worked. Still recording. What do I do with that? Brain. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Let's see if it starts. Hiya. Hiya. You okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it throws you off. It's the third time I've been off. Yeah. It completely takes you by surprise. Yeah. You know, you yeah. just don't know, and then yeah. dunk. Yeah. In fact, I was, I was just saying how I nearly came off, and then dunk off, off again. Yes. Thank you. Excellent. Right. Getting this on a bit of terra firma. There we go. Right.
Uh, turn the uh, turn the petrol off, didn't I? There you go. Don't know if that's going to make any difference. Yeah, little beauty. Right, well I can't find my swing arm plug anywhere. Well that's okay. Well, got that on video then. I don't know what to do with this. Wedge it up there. That now seems all right. I seem okay. I suppose you go through your old consumables doing this. Steering seems okay. That seems okay. Okay. Good egg. All is well. All's well that ends well. I'd nearly made it to the uh, to the good stuff. Just that little bit further. All day for this hot, hot all, all day. God, it's fantastic countryside. I just think this country is so gorgeous, and it's got so much going for it. way there as well. Well that needs exploring.
The old pipe doesn't seem bent, seems quite good it's standing up at the moment. That feels okay. So just the wing mirror. I've got one of those. Just by that uh, tree on the left, or clump of trees, not the one ahead, but the one on the left, is the Hackpen Hill White Horse. Well, better look where I'm going, I suppose. There, the white horse is just by that. Well, hey, thank you. Thank you. And this is the bit that goes up to Barbary Castle. That's the bit that tells you the restrictions. The other thing I've found about this is you've got to assess the road so quickly and decide which way to go and it's not easy. <laughs> I guess that's uh, another thing that will come with practice and I suppose also learning what the bike will and will do not do. So one of the reasons I got it was to get a bit of practice in a sort of style of bike riding that I wasn't used to, hoping to improve my overall skill as a rider. Maybe a bit late in the day but you're never too old to learn. But yeah, don't do it. <laughs> So I've gone to quite a lot of trouble to do this with the camera and the microphones and the computer and I found it really difficult to talk at the camera to start with. I think I've got a bit better but that's a, I guess that's a thing to learn in the, itself. That there, over there, I don't know if you can see the ridges in this camera but that is Barbary Castle, Iron Age Fort.
there you go. When I come along the Ridgeway, I think of all the people that have trodden this road. Well, it's been used for over 5,000 years. You know, Romans, ancient Britons. And there'll be people, long after I've gone walking along here, The horses don't see that very often. Lovely. Okay, don't get the first. This is another byway. I have to find out where that goes as well. First of October to thirtieth of April, not allowed which is the same as this part of the Ridgeway. I think it's the 4x4s that chew it up. I don't think these little dirt bikes do that much damage, quite frankly. They're quite light. OK, so this is what I did last week. Um, hopefully I've got the camera on all the time this time. So if I have... I'll post it up. Hope you enjoy it. Castle. And right there, it's got vehicle route, vehicular route via the old Ridgeway, which I wasn't aware of either, so that's a fairly good defensive point, that, isn't it? Anyway, back home, patch up my pride. Look at that. Fantastic. OK. Well, the third one I intend to do is called Foss Way. Which is an old Roman road running past Sirencester. So that is the intention of doing that. I've got a hand operation coming up, so I won't be on the bike for about a month and a half. Uh, but after that... I'll see if I can do number three. I hope you're enjoying these. I like making them. Um, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.